Hey, this is a different angle. Welcome back, Masketeers. I am Christina K. If you are new here, hi, welcome. This is normally not how I start videos. Um, we're gonna be on location today because I'm going around and showing you my massive Funko Pop collection. If you are new here and you're watching before September 5th, I do wanna remind you, I actually do have a Funko Pop and other cool alien remix collection giveaway going on. You could get some amazing guys like this one. Obviously not this one, this one's mine because I adore her, but you can win those. So if you haven't seen that yet and you haven't entered to win. I will link that up in the eye and down below so you too can maybe win some Funkos, add to your collection a little bit. Let's go look at some Funkos and we're gonna be here a while. I got a lot. I am very proud of this display in another part of my living room. The piece came from Overstock. It was a gift from my parents for Christmas and it's perfect to house all the Funkos that didn't have homes elsewhere. So I'm gonna zoom you in and take you on a little ride here. So this is my figment collection. This painting is a Larry Dotson painting who I love so much and this was a 30th birthday gift to myself when I was there for Festival of the Arts. And then we have the OG figment Funko which I got when I was there for the 35th anniversary. And then last year they had a food and wine figment. I haven't seen any of the food and wine ones this year. I wonder if they're gonna do another one. These guys were showcased in my figures collection, my Jim Shores. Then I've got these flocked beauties of Chip and Dale. They're from Comic-Con a couple of years ago, the one in San Diego. And this is a very special picture of my family. The first time we went to Hollywood and Vine, we got to meet all the characters at once, which when do you ever see the Fab Four together in a picture, you know? That was really rare and really special. Shout outs to Goofy's hat. This fedora, his outfit, he can literally pull off anything. Then we've got the Skyliner Funko. I know they sell like a bunch of stuff for the Skyliner like this. This I believe is still available on shopdisney.com, but what's really cool about it is you can actually see like the inside. It's kind of set up just like the Skyliner in Disney stuff from my grandpa. I have a little Skyliner figure there too. And then this was also another um, convention exclusive. Scrooge, I love the back because he got his little tail. One of my faves. They sold a big one of this too, but I didn't have room for it, so the little guy worked. I'm really proud of this section. This is my uh, Disneyland section. So on the top here, I got the Hitchhiking Ghost, and I don't normally collect chrome ones, but I wanted to do something special, so I like that they're up and they look all like ghost-like. We've got some Dapper Dans hiding in the back there. I need to find a better place for them. But for the purposes of this video, that's where they're hanging out. Then I've got this I showed on my pin collection video. It's pictures of my family's first trip to Disneyland with a bunch of pins in there representing all of the lands. We've got Alice on a teacup. I think they recently came out with a Cheshire Cat and a Mad Hatter one like this. Sorry, if you hear monorail doors closing, that's just my phone going off. I'm too lazy to get up and fix it. <laughs> then we got three guys I'm gonna miss so much. Brer Fox, Brer Bear, and Brer Rabbit. I think they're restocking them every once in a while in the parks, but yeah, right now they're sold out. Then we've got some Tiki guys, Barker Bird and the Tiki God. I love the Tiki room. This is a pretty recent one, my Jungle Cruise. This I believe is still available on shopdisney.com as well. I mean, they just did a great job replicating the Jungle Cruise, I miss it. And then hiding in the back is actually the Yeti on the Matterhorn. <laughs> I just ordered the Disneyland 65th one, so that's coming soon in a future video. On the bottom, I've got my Snow White and the Seven Dwarf ones with another pin collection and some photos from the parties meeting them. And then these are some of my favorite movie moments. Uh, we've got Moana. This was another convention, but I think you can still get this one on box lunch. And every once in a while, it does pop up on sale too. I love Hey Hey and Pua. This was one of the bigger victories in my life, scoring this one at Target, and it was on sale. <laughs> um, you got little Sebastian there and Flounder. I love the kiss the girl scene, and I love the details on this pop. I mean, they just nailed that one. We've also got A Whole New World, another beautiful scene that's such a special pop for me. And I adore Captain Hook. That was a Hot Topic exclusive. I don't know if it was a convention one, but yeah, they did such a great job on that one. So if you remember on my Disney figures collection, I showcased a lot of these guys 
on top, but I didn't show you what was below it. I have my GB and then I have a bunch of Funkos. So let's zoom in, shall we? This is my Backstreet Boys shrine. They are my all-time favorites. I was very lucky enough to interview them. So naturally I had to get the Funkos of all of them my picture and if you're a Backstreet Boy fan, yes, I did the whole black and blue thing on purpose. <laughs> and I actually won an award for the interview. I work in radio for those of you who don't know, but I won an award for it and it was amazing. And you know what? I will link that down below if you want to check it out. Here's some other people I was fortunate enough to interview and meet and the Funko Pops that go with it. So first we have Tom Hiddleston, Loki himself. So naturally we have a Loki Funko and a Thor one. And then the Dreamboat, that is Paul Rudd. And we have two Ant-Man Funkos. This one is from Endgame, and this is the original Ant-Man. Then down here, we have some more. We've got the Caster Boy Meets World, Ben Savage, Daniel Fischel, and Will Friedell, and the Corey and Topanga Funkos. And then my childhood dream come true, Paige O'Hara, Aniko Noni Rose, myself, and Jody Benson. Just, you know, four princesses hanging out. <laughs> so the voices of Belle, Tiana, and Ariel slash tour guy Barbie. And then I have my Belle and Beast fun goes with that. And this is a really cheap piece, by the way, from Amazon. It was like $18 and it just housed them perfectly. And then we'll move over to my Cinderella Funkos. I have her in the pink dress, which I love and I feel is very rare. And the fairy godmother who holds a very special place in my heart. I get to portray her for work sometimes. And then that was a centerpiece at a wedding. I really want to get the Funko carriage, hopefully coming soon and put that there. Then we got my Star Wars guys. So Poe, C-3PO. I know you either love him or hate him. He's my favorite Star Wars character. I adore him. <laughs> Chewy with the Porg, Ray. then we've got the Empire Strikes Back 40th Han and Leia, and just some cute knickknacks down there. Um, I do have a BB-8 one on my desk at work, but I have not uh, been there in quite a few months, so that's not here. But this is, this is, up until recently, the largest Funko that I have. It's Han Solo in the Millennium Falcon. Let's get a better look here. It's on this beautiful stand, and look at the details on the Falcon. Like, it looks like it's been beat up a little bit in places. It's got so many details. This was an Amazon exclusive, and I know, I think I pre-ordered it, but I think sometimes it does go on sale. Look at him in the Falcon, the cockpit there. This really makes me miss um, Galaxy's Edge. So yeah. The other biggest Funko Pop that I have was recently in my Funko haul and giveaway. So here we go with a closer look. So Powerline was a Hot Topic exclusive a few years ago. Then we got Scrooge, Webby, Huey, Dewey, and Louie. I love that these are OG DuckTales and not the new one. Don't mind the new one, but I like this look better. Launchpad, one of my favorites. Baloo and King Louie Tailspin. So this is my Disney 90s afternoon kind of a vibe here. And then of course we have Max Goof. This was a GameStop exclusive that I was lucky enough to find at Comic-Con last year. Then I've got the OG Miko, my girl Roz, Harry Hausen, Remy and Emil. Love me some Heimlich. That's my little Pixar corner aside from Toy Story. Ralph, Vanellope, and Knows More from Wreck-It Ralph. And then we start my Marvel collection of Star-Lord, Hawkeye from Civil War. How cool is the Spider-Man with the cap shield? Love that. This was a Comic-Con exclusive last year of Iron Man. We've got an Endgame cap. A box lunch exclusive Iron Man from a few years ago. Hulk with his tacos. Cap from Infinity War. Then we've got Prince Eric. The OG Ariel, that's like a really old one. Ariel walking. Ariel walking, well, Ariel with legs. <laughs> Scuttle and Ursula, my girl. Abu as an elephant, Prince Ali. Genie, Meg, Conductor Mickey, Timon and Pumbaa, or Pumbaa and Timon, I should say. Sorcerer Mickey, Stitch doing the luau. Then I got my Doug guys, Patty Mayonnaise, Doug Funny, Pork Chop, which is actually flocked. Skeeter, which was a convention exclusive. Lucy and Ricky. Danny Zuko. I love, love, love pretty women. We got some of them. Monica with a turkey on her head from Friends. Joey, could I be wearing any more clothes? Empty spot there. Coming soon, that Funko Pop. Michael Scott. Dwight. We got some office ones here. Pam, Jim, Kevin. 
Daryl, I also love the Big Bang Theory, so we have Amy, Sheldon, Leonard, Howard, Raj. Then we've got Mitch and Cam, or Cam and Mitch, from Modern Family. We've got some New Girls guys, Drunk Uncle from SNL, and then I've got some in boxes still. So I've got a Chrome Captain America, a Miko and Flit, which is still available and I think on sale right now. Ed Sheeran, congrats to him, he's a dad now. Quasimodo, and Goofy for GameStop. Lucy fell, so she's just chilling here. Um, and these are my garbage cans, <laughs> which I really love, my salt and pepper shakers. Now we're in my studio. This is one of my favorite parts, my Toy Story collection. I made this when I got back from the Toy Story Land broadcast. We got to open it up at my job, which was amazing. And I just put the Funkos in here because it was very fitting. So let's start at the top. So I got an alien hat up there. I made these Toy Story letters. Um, and then I got a picture from the broadcast. We've got a Wheezy Funko, a Slinky Funko, Bullseye, Bo Peep, the OG Bo Peep back there. And yes, that is a ride vehicle uh, replica, like a little model. I don't know if they still sell that, but they gave that to us. That is Steven. If you've ever taken the Magical Express, you may remember him from a video or two. He's in charge of merchandising. It was so cool to interview him. He was awesome. I can leave some of my Toy Story Land videos in the link down below. They gave us the Green Army Man. That was an exclusive. And he's on top of the mic stand that we had there, which was cool. Mr. Prickle Pants does not get enough love, but he is loved on my shelves. We got the Buzz bubble blower that they gave us. We got Buzz Lightyear as Mrs. Nesbitt. We got an alien chilling there. And just to remind you, my alien remix collection, um, that giveaway could still possibly be going on by the time you see it. So details will be down below. That bullseye, all the people who I interviewed actually signed it. Then down here, we've got the Buzz and Woody hats they gave us. Rex, this is one of my rarer Funkos. This guy is so expensive. I absolutely he's next to buzz then we've got the slinkies they sell around the frame this was at the press party uh me and my friend stevie that was so special um actually we have a ride through of that that they film with professional lights and cameras which was amazing so i'll link that down below then i've got ham and woody jesse hanging out in the back forky this is the replica of the alien swirling saucers like I said, studio tour will be coming soon, but I wanted to showcase these guys in my Funko collection. Let's see if there's any other Funkos I'm missing. Yeah, there were. So my bathroom is all Frozen themed, um, and these are my Frozen 2 ones. We've got Elsa and Bruni. I think that's a Target exclusive. Anna, Olaf. What I love about the Olaf one is the blue snowflake details on him. So cute. Ben and Kristoff. I don't have any from Frozen 1, ironically. And this one sits on my desk. This was a gift from a listener. This is an amazing piece of Thanos and Captain America from Infinity War. I mean, it's incredible. Very lucky to have that. I think the one with Thor is still on sale. I don't think you can get this one anymore, though. And the 10-inch, I believe he is? Indiana Jones, Funko... So there it is, that's the collection, one of my many collection videos. We've got a lot more on the way. I've done ears and spirit jerseys, lounge flies. I know I have to update some of those because they have become even more massive and I have more hauls on the way, more giveaways on the way. So if you haven't already subscribed, please join our little Disney family and I would love to talk to you in the comments below. Let me know what was your favorite Funko Pop? What's your personal favorite that you own? We do have another Funko giveaway on the way. It kind of broke news this week on Instagram, so that's a hint, so excited about that and more. Thank you for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope you are doing well. I am Christina Kay. Have a Disney day.